Many of you have asked me to test a Greek yogurt on its own like that to see the impact it has on my glucose level. So today, that's exactly what I'm going to do. In this portion, there are about 15 grams of proteins, 6 grams of carbohydrates, and 3 grams of fats. There is no fiber here, but it is a very good source of calcium with about 165 milligrams. Greek yogurt is very rich in proteins and calcium, which is excellent for maintaining muscle mass and strengthening bones. It is also low in carbohydrates, which can be advantageous to avoid a big spike in, which theoretically makes Greek yogurt rather good for health. So I am still very curious to see the impact that a Greek yogurt alone on an empty stomach will have on my glucose level. Let's go. Okay, so it's now been a bit more than two hours since I ate my Greek yogurt. Let's take a look at the glucometer right here to see the impact it had on my glucose level. Oh, and by the way, a bunch of people asked about the app I use to scan my meals. It's called Sugar AI. So you just take a photo of your food and it breaks down the nutrition, the calories, sugar, macros, everything. So it's not perfect every time, but I really like to keep a record of everything I eat. So for me, it's super useful. And don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss upcoming videos where I will be doing a lot of tests. So we see that the blood sugar level has remained really very stable, huh? It went up by 15 maybe milligrams per deciliter which is nothing at all. This is quite typical of foods like yogurt, Greek yogurt, or things that are rich in proteins or fats. They generally have a very gradual absorption with very, very few blood sugar spikes.